Ah yes, Minnesota, the land of hot dish, Norwegian bachelor farmers, and of course, the Mount Rose American Teen Princess pageant. Go musky, woo! What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching England Anarchy. I am in Minnesota. This is the first time I've musky fished in Minnesota, which may be a surprise to some of you, but uh, here we are. And speaking of here we are, I am here with Ben Stone in the back. There he is. Uh, ben Stone Fishing is his YouTube channel, you should check it out. It's awesome. And Matt Vavrock, Matt Vavrock Fishing is his YouTube channel, and it's okay. <laughs> Just joking, they're both very good. <laughs> so uh, we are up here, um, we fish a lot together in Iowa, and now we're in Minnesota trying to catch a muskie for you good people to watch. Um, we're going to be fishing a little bit of open water, a little bit of structure, uh, just trying to figure out what's going on. So stick with us, we'll be right back, hopefully with a muskie. Had some serious success with him, yeah. And I was messaging him about it. What he says he does is he takes two regular swimming dogs and puts Ooh, them on the arm. Oh, yeah. Got her. Oh, she's off. I have small, dude. I have never seen a fish so desperate to eat, dude. Holy <laughs> it was going so fast. It came out, I was like, hoo, hoo, and then I ate it, and then it was just like, it peeled off so fast, dude. It just, I pulled the hook out. Good lord. Right. Yeah. Yep. I'm not sure that that's worth it, so I guess it is what it is. Sorry, man. Oh. That was a good fish. Was it? I don't know how he came off, dude. Did he flash back there? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I don't know if it was a 100% mosky. There, there was weight there, dude. Yeah. I mean, it was a good sized fish, but there was a really big bike in here, too. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. There was, I, that's true, I don't know, but there was, there was weight. I don't know how he came off, to be completely honest with you. He freaking <laughs> trucked this thing. Yeah. It's a steer, a pike. It's a big pike. It's a nice pike. Yeah. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that crap. <laughs> do you want an editor or are you just going to handle it? No, That's a beefy little pike there. <laughs> Need a uh, pliers? That's good. It's a nice one. Yeah, good piker. Maybe next time you'll catch the right species. Perhaps. Well, let's not get crazy here. There's a fish on me. Oh yeah. yeah. That's, he, he turned around. He turned around. He, he, he uh, that was a big fish. That was a nice fish, dude. That was uh, mid 40s for sure. 45, 46 probably. Yeah, that was that was a real fish, real deal. Uh, lazy kind of. Well, I oh, saw a huge like shadow on the thing. I'm like, that's a fish. Yeah. And. Uh, I, then I looked down and I, I saw the shadow again and I was like, oh, he's on. And then I look yeah. over and it was just like sitting there. Yeah, he wasn't super motivated, but he was, he was back there doing shit. That was a very wide fish. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, 
what I'll be throwing today is an Esox Salt 109, sort of a custom one that I made. Uh, I've also customized it with a little dangly blade on the back and uh, actually rebuilt it and weighted it some more for some open water fishing. I'm throwing it on a 9 foot shock and a 2020 assault stick, 500 tranks with fins, 100 pound Pro Excess braid. I really like the stuff, it casts super nice. Let's see what everybody else is throwing. Matt's throwing an Assault Stick 2020, and Ben's throwing an Assault Stick 2020. We've all got those. Tranks, 400s and 500s all around. Uh, Matt's throwing, what do we got there? Big old heavy musky Mayhem Grenade. And Ben's throwing a Dusa. So that's what we're doing for this open water program. Uh, it's definitely interesting. So let's see if we can catch a musky, shall we? You gonna fight to the back side here, Matt? Right you, bro. Yep, yep, yep. Way out on the cast. Right in. Nicely done. Work. Nicely done, man. Nice work, Ben. Whew. Cool, dude. That'll work. Cool. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to do spot lock out here? Yeah, okay. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a sack. They're pretty. What's that? They're tough to grab in this lake. Yeah, they just aren't real cooperative. Beautiful fish. Thank you, Ben. Awesome program. Awesome fish. Beautiful musky. I've got her backwards, but it's not that big of a deal. Holy smokes. Bigger than I thought. 41? 41 incher. Gorgeous. So if you can kick her tail out a little bit. Yeah, perfect. Get her back. Buddy, thank you. turntables uh, we caught a fish and now it's raining on us <laughs> but uh, at least we got one uh, beautiful uh, low 40 inch fish that Matt got out in some open water we we're over 50 feet of water so um, I know this is a difficult thing for people to uh, wrap their heads around but I also know I mean everybody knows about it but not everybody does it uh, it's tough because you're out in the middle of nowhere and uh, these balls of Cisco's are your structure but it certainly pays off. So um, if, if nothing else, hopefully this maybe gives you a little bit of confidence to go uh, check out some, some open, water, open water options on your home body of water. Well, yeah, unless uh, you count the one that Matt caught, I guess that was a nice one. But other than that, it has been rough. Uh, I mean, we saw fish today, but my goodness, it was a really tough bite. Uh, had funky weather. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We've got the the new moon tomorrow. We've got one more day, uh, not a full day, but we are going to come out and see what we can do. Um, yeah, there's people in the background. Matt Vavrock is one of them. Matt Vavrock Fishing is his YouTube channel and our host in Minnesota here, Mr. Ben Stone, Ben Stone Fishing. I will leave both of their YouTube channel links in the <laughs> description below. Uh, and with that, I am too old for this crap, as they say. Uh, I need to get some sleep, and uh, we'll try to do this again tomorrow. So with that, 
I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess, and I'll see you in the next video.